Rules for a Night by Ethan Hawke Chapter 17 Faith Sometimes, to understand more, you need to know less. As your father, I was present at each of your births, and I can attest there is the stuff of magic in each of you. Whatever well our lives are drawn from, it is deep, wild, mysterious, and unknowable. I am not in control of it, and neither are you. In fact, we are in control of very little outside of how we choose to handle each situation that presents itself. Don't forget, there are some things that are so beautiful, so exquisite, that they should not be talked about. They can only be experienced. Discovering, touching, feeling that which cannot be talked about is the splendid mission of every knight and lady. We find what we seek in this world, so be careful for what you wish. Never make a big decision without first walking a mile. When in doubt, the golden rule is always there for you. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Trust the people whom you respect, whom you love, and who love you, but in matters of great importance, trust your own gut. Don't be fooled, and don't be hurried. There is plenty of time to make mistakes. Why am I alive? Where was I before I was born? What will happen to me when I die? Why should I follow these rules? Ask the tough questions. Read how your elders have answered these same questions. Our ancestors were not fools. You did not create the mountains, the oceans, the sun, or the rain. You did not even create yourself. So you can loosen your shoulders. The responsibility of the world does not rest on your back alone. Beware of becoming too zealous about anything. People are often talking about a man so holy he can walk on hot coals, or a woman whose prayers are so divinely powerful she can dance on water. For me... Walking on the earth has been miracle enough. I remember a beautiful woman in our village, Liza Engelhart, who went mad with grief. She had a beautiful little boy and a wonderful husband, both of whom died. She had come from a poor family and had felt disrespected much of her childhood. When she and her husband fell in love, her status in the community rose, and with the gorgeous young boy they were much loved and admired. Well, first the husband and then the boy took sick and passed. When the boy died, she refused to accept it. She carried the dead body from house to house, asking for medicine. Our neighbors didn't know what to say or how to help. Liza refused to believe that the small blonde boy was gone. She finally came to Grandfather. His reaction shocked me. When she approached him, her eyes were insane with sorrow. Do you have any medicine for my boy? She asked. He answered, yes. I think I can help. I stood behind him, speechless. Leave the boy with me, he said. I know a medicine that no one else knows. Liza's face momentarily relaxed. What we need is mustard seeds, he told her. I have them, she announced quickly. Not just any mustard seeds, he said. I need you to go into Pellant and knock on every door, and with all the humility you can find, tell them you are looking for the home where no one has died. And when you find it, ask them for their mustard seeds. Then bring them immediately to me. I will watch your boy until you return. Poor sweet Liza was delighted. I will return, she vowed. Well, you can imagine. Every home she went to, she heard stories from bereaved men and women who could offer no mustard seeds. Sadly, family after family told her tales of the loved ones they had lost. When she returned to our door, she looked a thousand years old, but had clearly regained her mind. Grandfather and she held a small cremation ceremony on the hill behind our stables. I helped light the fire. He held her hand. Obviously, everything must pass. But have faith that wherever your boy has gone, we will soon go too. Whatever is happening, is happening to all of us. I know I should go to sleep now, but there is an owl outside my window who calls out for me to continue writing to you. Somehow I feel that as long as I keep pen to paper, we will still be close. End of chapter 17